So I saw something today that got me super pumped up for my Garmin Live Scope. And that is when I got on my computer today, I saw some teaser videos about the update to the Garmin Live Scope units. And it adds a specific feature that is super cool. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through the process of using an SD card, your computer, and then updating your unit to get these features. But let's say, let's say this is in the future and maybe this isn't the most current update that you have. This generally will work on exactly how to use an SD card to update your unit. The changes made from version 18.0 to 19.10 is one key thing. And that is that it adds live scope, color limit control to the unit. Now from the things that I've seen online, I saw a couple teaser videos, is what it allows it to do is to be able to pump up your gain on your live scope unit, but then still get clarity and be able to see like this distinct things on your screen without a lot of background color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through the entire process of using your computer, loading it on an SD card, loading it on your unit, and then what I'm gonna do is test it out on the simulation mode because currently outside it is snowing and it's nasty outside a lot of the places around here are frozen so this is a perfect time to do this work on your boat so when you get out there you are ready ready freddy all right so i'm going to get on my computer and type in garmin update we'll just do garmin 93 sv update and do that then we're going to go to that top one there and then it's showing the most current version, which is um, this most recent software version. So I'm gonna click go to Mac download page. And then I'm gonna click on download. And if you're on a PC, it's gonna basically be the same process. It's gonna take a little bit since I'm in the garage downloading this stuff. I'll be right back. I think I'm gonna take this inside so this can download to be continued. All right, so I took it inside, back outside, and it's done downloading. So it's going to be in my downloads folder. So I am going to click up here, and it's going to show the Garmin folder there. So it's going to say right there on the screen your installation instructions. So once the download is complete, copy zip file to your SD card. So you want to copy the whole zip file to your SD card. You don't want to extract it. You just want to copy the entire zip file to your SD card. So on my Mac here, I've got to use one of these wonderful dongle things. And so I'm gonna plug that into the computer with the SD card in it. So in order to do this, I am gonna to have to go ahead and format this SD card into the FAT32. So on a Mac, what I'm gonna do is go in and go to my disk utility under the utilities. I'm gonna click on EOS Digital. We are going to erase that and we're going to whenever we go to erase that we are going to make sure that we do it in the fat and we are going to hit erase all right so now it's done so now that i've done that what i can do is pull back up my window here i've got this garmin file what i'm going to do is drag that and i'm going to drag it over to and it is copying now. Once it's on the SD card, you're gonna have to double click on it and you're gonna have to extract those files to the SD card. So the Garmin folder is the one at the top. All right, so I went ahead and powered on my unit here. And what I'm gonna do is open up this little SD card slot and I'm going to insert my micro SD card into the unit. All right, so then it comes up with this menu here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit update software. Yeah, the update takes a long time to complete and must not be interrupted. Continue, I'm gonna hit yes. And so then it's gonna go through the update process. All right, so now the update is complete, so I'm gonna click okay to restart the device. And we will let that go ahead and restart. So now that we got the unit started back up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit agree. And then in order to kind of test this out, what I'm gonna to wanna to do is, you know, you, like you have the pan optics, but obviously I'm not on the water right now. So I'm gonna put it in the simulation mode. So I'm gonna hit the home button. I'm gonna hit the settings button. I am going to hit the system button. 
I'm going to hit simulator and then I'll just turn that on. It's going to give me this some content missing, blah, 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 but it still works. Okay. Then we're going to go back, back again. All right. So now I've got the simulator on. So what I'm going to do is go to the pan optics. I'm going to go to live scope. All right. And look at this screen here. So I've got the gain set at 92. Um, so we're going to pump that down. But, you know, like if you want to bring it all the way down, you know, let's say this right here is like 76. So like you got a pretty, you know, black background. You can see some fish here swimming around. But the problem is when you're in this mode like this and you've got the gain set like that, is a lot of times you won't see your jig. You won't see the jig on the live scope on the live scope rather so you have to pump up the gain when you start pumping up the gain you see all this noise in the background here with this update you have some new options in the menu now it's not going to be on the main screen here but what we're going to do is hit menu we are going to go to sonar setup we're going to go to appearance and then you have this new feature here called color limit which we're going to click on and so you got this slider bar over here or you can use the up down but as we watch i'm going to use my slider and as i slide up this see how that the background noise kind of goes away so what that's going to allow you to do is to really be able to see those jigs but yet you're going to get rid of a lot of that background noise and I mean you can go all the way like this and you know I've got it at 44 percent here on this color limit you can really see the fish you still got the tree but you more than likely will be able to still see your jig now the thing is is that like I can't wait to get this out in the water and test it on the water because I really think it's going to really help be able to have a good picture of the fish while still maintaining a good image of the jig and get rid of a lot of that noise that's on the screen. So it's a really cool feature and I'm super excited to use it on the water. But like you can see there in the full screen mode, color limit's still set on it, but watch, I'm gonna pump up this game and see there it gets kind of like iffy. But I mean, you can still see it's got, it's trying to keep the background black while still maintaining the fish and the structure on the live scope. So pretty cool features on this new update. Definitely worth getting a micro SD card and going through the process and updating the firmware on this unit. But as always guys, I hope this helps you out. If you did, please consider commenting down below if you have a Garmin unit, what unit you have, and uh, if you've installed this update yet. And I'll be excited to see you guys out there on the water. And as always guys, don't forget, get outside, do something awesome, take somebody with you if you get a chance, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out one of these other ones, like the one on top where I actually go fishing with LiveScope, or maybe the one below it, because the YouTube gods seem to think that it would be the best fit for you as an individual viewer. And I appreciate you guys watching, and go out on the water and catch some big ones.